next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Well, enjoy him while he's here, folks, because you never know if this will be the last time we see Nate Diaz in the UFC with a fan base really as big as any fighter in the sport. Diaz is back tonight, and we're glad to see him. Stock, stand up. <laughs> this guy has a cult following. He is one of the most interesting guys in the UFC because he has the sense that he really doesn't care to be here, but he also doesn't feel as comfortable anywhere but in the octagon. So it's a love-hate relationship with fighting for Nate Diaz. When he's happy, when he's best, he's fighting in the UFC. A guy that boxes, unbelievable, but I think it's the attitude of Nate Diaz that has made him into one of the biggest stars that we've ever seen in the Oscars. He had a couple of life-changing paydays against Conor McGregor, the win at UFC 196, the majority decision loss at UFC 202. Which to this day he says he won, right? He thinks he won that <laughs> fight. But one thing goes without saying, and I'll say it anyway, when Nate Diaz fights, the world is watching, and that is the case yet again here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, five losses. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Iron. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 12 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Body out of Stockton, California. Ladies and gentlemen, an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Nate Diaz! All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're under in danger the entire time. Oh, a little single collar by there. A nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Right back in the clinch. Look at the backhand to get very active. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Ooh, what a punch. Man, how
how good is that jab from Nate Diaz? Almost as if he's been doing it for 20 years, right? I mean, he has been doing it. You know, he's got a great boxing coach in Richard Perez, a guy that he believes in, a guy that has allowed him to gain the confidence to stand with the best strikers in the world. Nicely done as he gets the double leg takedown. All right, so he's got his head here looking to set up the guillotine choke now. to finish here. Oh, looks like he's countering here with maybe a bond flu. He's got the side mount. And now all of a sudden his opponent's in trouble. May want to bail on that guillotine sooner rather than later. Brilliant submission defense there. As MMA had advanced, you saw guys completely abandoning full guard. Nobody stayed there, right? At the highest levels, you got taken down, you rushed to the side of the fence to get up. Jose Aldo made this famous. You couldn't hold him down if you ever got him down. So, um, you're seeing guys really settle into those guards right now, and they're paying for it by getting beat up. Oh, it tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Diaz. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Under a minute now to go round one. Oh, oh, there we go. Showing off that leg dexterity and flexibility rubber guard now. I mean, it's unbelievable to watch these guys who are able to. Oh, he's attacking choke now. He's got his chin in, but now it's starting to slip under the neck. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. That was awesome. Don't get lazy on your takedowns. Keep your hands up. Let's punch. You ready? You ready? Let's go, guys. Fight. Oh, the kickboxing shops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a win. That is as good a strike as he has landed thus far to Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. Oh, and now the hip toss in a great position now to go out there. He did a great job of stepping all the way across to get that hip toss. Now look for him to start chasing down a submission. A triangle, a triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When oh, now he's in trouble. tonight here by way of submission, and he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web 
that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliana has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 28 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to arm triangle choke, Ned Fee!